Katie, you know? are you cheating on me with my best friend? Of course I'm cheating on you. Yeah, but she'll never love you the way I love you. All right, people, what's up? Today, we're checking out probably the most psychotic Roblox roleplay I've ever seen. The Cheating Girlfriend, a Roblox movie by Shane Plays. I can only imagine how this shit turns out. Uh, it doesn't seem like anything's biting today. I don't know what my girlfriend Katie's up to. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Well, that's weird. It sounds just like her. Wait a second. That is her. Is that my best friend Thomas? What are they doing? All right. Did motherfucker just jump in the water for a girl? I'm sorry, audience. If I noticed my girl was cheating on me, there would be no fucking way I would jump in the water over that shit. At that point, the fucking dog shit on my shoe would be more valuable than my girlfriend. Oh my gosh. You're so... Uh, Jerry? What are you doing here? I could... Ask you the same thing, Katie. Oh, come on, man. We're just uh, hanging out. Katie, you know? are you cheating on me with my best friend? Of course I'm cheating on you, Jerry. What the heck? Yeah, look at him. I mean, he's really handsome, and he's super rich, and he's way stronger than you altogether. That is the most black pilled shit I've ever heard. He's handsome, rich, and he's fucking strong. You hear that, gentlemen? That is all the traits you need to get a woman's heart. Fuck having a good personality. Fuck having a good job. Fuck having good knowledge about the world. If you're rich, you're handsome and strong than you want all the hoes in the world. You're supposed to be my best friend. How could you do this to me? Yo, dude, just chill out, okay? How long okay? has this been going on? Two, three, six months. Six months? Wait, so she's been dating two dudes for over six months? So that means whenever they do the and they taste... Uh, uh, bro, that is fucking crazy. Your girl going for two dudes. That is wild. I are broken up and I'm gonna live my life without you. Whatever, don't care. I can't stand to look at either of you right now. You're no longer welcome here. This is my boat. This is your dad's boat. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, loser. The loser is the one that doesn't use daddy's money. Anybody that solely relies on daddy's money for fucking everything and then passing off the money and flexing to others that it's your money. You're a fucking piece of shit fraud. Oh, look at this fucking outfit I just got. Fuck off. And I think I let her borrow this and I think that's about it my stuff and I'm out of here. Oh, Jerry? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hi, Jerry. What are you doing here? Well, Katie and I have broken up. I just came here to get my things. What? I can't believe this. You and Katie? Broken up? You guys are high school sweethearts. What happened? Why would you do this? Katie was cheating on me with my best friend Thomas. She would never do something like that. Yes, I agree. It was probably you that was cheating. What? And you probably just needed the excuse to break up with her. Boy, do I love when parents are so naive. Most of you guys as parents might think that you guys are fucking angels. But let's keep it a stack for a second. You have a fucked up mind. And you know it. And you use that to take advantage of your parents. Don't fucking lie to me. No, Katie is way too good for you. I knew it from the start, didn't I, honey? Yes, you did say You that. have no business in my house. Get out. I love how quickly the parents switch up. I mean, isn't that what happens with pretty much every breakup? Both ends of the spectrum think you're too good for each other. And then both friends from both spectrums <clears throat> stop being friends together for some reason. Because it was all bound together over a fragile fucking relationship between two people. Essentially, no. Nobody fucking wins. No problem. Jerry, there you are. Hi. What do you want? I think we should get back together. I changed my mind. What? No way. What do you mean, no way? You broke my trust and my heart. Jerry, stop being so stupid. Jerry, come back. That's right, King. Walk off. Don't look back and become a red-pilled motherfucker. Gotta get your fucking ass in the gym, making yourself some dough, some money, and then watch your cheating girlfriend come back. I swear it's gonna happen. Man, Carmen, we have been so busy the past couple days. Everyone's coming in to buy that new iPhone. Since when the fuck did he get so jacked? I mean, I did say for him to go to the gym, but I didn't expect for him to fucking get jacked overnight. Good shit, dog. And you seem a bit distracted. Are you okay? Distracted? What? No, I'm totally fine. I know you better than that. What's wrong? Well, I broke up with my girlfriend, Katie, because... Oh, babe, whatever. You can get whatever you want in here. I want the new iPhone 14. Classic white girls. I literally got the iPhone 14, and bro, I'm gonna keep it a stack. 
it's the same phone every year. Holy shit, a better phone camera. It's really not that crazy. Anything for you, babe. Wow, Jerry, fancy seeing you here. Katie, you know I work here. Oh, yeah, you told me that. But I forgot because it was so boring. Yeah, super boring. Jerry, look at my new outfit that Thomas bought me. Would you ever buy anything like this for me? Probably not. I mean, look at his own clothes. This is a work uniform. Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, if you guys aren't going to buy anything, then you need to leave the store. Uh, who is this poor girl and why is she talking to me? I don't know, babe. I think she works here. You know what? You can't tell me what to do. What a psycho bitch. This audience is what happens when you let dad Daddy's money run to your head. When you get everything handed to you, it's almost like you get handed back your years of age. And then you resort to acting like a fucking two-year-old out in public because you didn't get shit handled your way. Fuck off with that pussy shit. Whoa, Kimmy, what is wrong with you? Being around you just makes me so... All right, both of you guys, get out. Yeah, whatever, we're out of here. Come on, babe. Let me go buy you a new Birkin bag. What an absolute soy boy. Come on, babe. Let me get you a new- Shut the fuck up. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I think I actually do support the main character's ex and his best friend being together because it's going to teach his best friend a lesson. She's gonna fucking milk him of all his money and when he's all out, she's gonna fuck off. You don't believe me? Fucking watch. That was your ex-girlfriend? Yeah, and my ex-best friend too. Oh my gosh, I I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna let them get to me. So what? You're not super rich like that guy. I mean, he's probably never worked a day in his life. But they have no idea. I'm gonna improve myself for my own sake, not just because we broke up. Audience, they're gonna get together. Do I have any basis on this matter? Absolutely not. I just have a feeling they're gonna get together and be lovers for life. Why the fuck did I just say that? 19... 20. Okay, that's a pretty good warm-up. What the fuck just happened to his body? Audience, I could have swore a second ago that this guy was fucking jacked. Now this guy just deflated like a fucking balloon. Honestly, I feel like what happened was Shane Plays accidentally put the clips in the wrong order. Bro had a little oopsie in the editing process. It's all good, I fuck up too. One, two, oh. Man, it's a whole lot harder than I thought. Sure, it may be difficult, but you don't have to fucking shit yourself. Listen, I work out every morning. I get up at fucking 5 a.m. for this shit. It's okay to grunt and moan and shit while you're doing a workout, but you don't need to fucking- ah! Ah! Like, shut the fuck up. I'm really kind of out of shape, aren't I? Gotta start from somewhere, but man, I feel so weak. Oh my gosh, Jerry, you're such a weak loser. Yeah, you'll never amount to anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, no, no, I'm not a weak loser. I am gonna better myself, and then we'll see who's laughing. Finally, an okay life lesson from Shane Plays. Hop on self-improvement, ladies and gentlemen. You all fucking need it. If there's anything on my channel I'm ever gonna say that's serious, get on self-improvement. Believe me, it'll change your life. I was depressed as fuck making YouTube videos, but now I just have fun with this shit, and it is all thanks to self-improvement. Believe me, you guys gotta fucking do it. It'll change your life. Right. Dumbbells, get this going. Holy shit, motherfucker skipped leg day on God. Why does your arm look like a fucking pot of peas? If you ain't gonna train your legs, you better walk around with some fucking pants because that shit's fucking embarrassing. Oh, Jerry, over the past couple months, you've changed. You look really strong. Well, thanks. I've been hitting the gym almost every day and eating a whole lot healthier. I'm feeling a whole lot better too. Well, I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, uh, Carmen, hold on a second. Yeah, what's up? Um, are you doing anything Friday night? Uh, no, I think I'm free. Oh, yeah, yeah, so am I. Uh, do you maybe want to go out to, like, dinner or go on a date? or something? What did I fucking tell y'all? You surround a single man with a single woman, and what do you think fucking happens? Them single Pringles about to mingle, if you know what I'm saying. Really? Yeah, of course. Oh, awesome. Uh, Friday night it is then. Um, do my eyes deceive me? Or did Jerry just ask that girl out? Am I just that forgettable? Is she just that much cooler than me? Yeah, fuck you. A really good idea. Yeah, it's been so much fun. I'm having a really great time with you, Jerry. And I'm having a lot of fun with you too, Carmen. You've been doing such a good job for my company. I think I have a position for you. Really? Am I gonna be a store manager? No, we're actually bringing you to the corporate division of the company. You'll be working at the home office. Now that is what I like to fucking hear. My dude went on a hot date. He got the fucking job raise. Dude's living, dog. Today's the first day. You can do this, Jerry. 
Mr. Wilson, good morning. Oh, hey, Jerry, good morning. Welcome to the home office. I want to introduce you to somebody. Meet your new business partner. What the? Katie? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? I just got promoted. What are you doing? Well, let's see. I took all of Thomas's money, broke up with him, and then I bought myself into this company. Now we can work together. You obsessive woman. Audience, at that point, if a girl is trying to stalk me that hard, I would just take myself and my girl and we would haul ass. I ain't trying to have no fucking stalker up my ass 24 7 she really wants a bum ass shit right now anyway since psycho bitch got hired at the main character's job the girl keeps on doing shit to hopefully sabotage the man to hopefully get back with her that is some very fucked up logic anyway skipping forward they eventually find the main character's best friend thomas on the side of the road and decide to help him wait a minute Thomas? Jerry? What are you doing in this neighborhood? Thought only rich people lived here. Yeah, well, I just bought this house. What are you doing? Katie took everything from me, took all my money, and broke up with me, and now I'm homeless, man. I mean, to be fair, I don't think that's how money works. Unless you're just that fucking stupid and gave your girlfriend 100% of your money. If that is what happened, then you are a fucking dumbass. I get it, dude. I just want to be friends, that's all. Yeah, I do too. Why don't you come inside and get cleaned up and order some burgers or something? After these two men became friends again, both of them try to open up their own phone company. Company, and then uh, some unexpected business happens. I want my phones to change the world for the better. Hey, wait, look. What's going on? What the hell? Oh, get out of the way. I hate you, Jerry. I hate you. Katie, stop right now. Oh my now. gosh, get out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm fucking done. Anyways, audience, I think I've seen enough bullshit today. Please click the video on screen. I promise you'll love it. But anyways, yeah, subscribe.